So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Amy Roclaff, let her take the show away. And she's going to start um, explaining to you about Central Pen. Great, thank you very much, Lisa. Hello to all of you. We have a quick presentation here for you that'll be coming up in just a minute. Um, I will start out by saying that we're happy that you joined us for Coffee in College today. It's um, great to see some smiling faces um, and hopefully we'll get some questions answered for you. So I'll tell you a little bit about Central Penn College. We are located about 10 minutes from downtown Harrisburg in a suburban setting of Somerdale, Pennsylvania. So we really have the best of both worlds. We've got the suburban setting, lots of space, and then we have all the resources that downtown Harrisburg has to offer us. We have a diverse student population of about 1,100 students. We have students online, in person, and doing hybrid classes. So we're able to find something for everyone. Now, if you're interested in earning an associate's degree, um, you can see some of the options that we have available. You can see that they're very career focused and they are very in demand jobs. So these majors are available for our associate degree program. And if you're interested in a bachelor's degree and you're thinking about that career, you can go ahead and see the options that we have. Again, very career focused. I'll tell you briefly about um, a program that we have in our legal studies area. It's called the two plus three program with Widener University. You would come to Central Penn for two years, go to Widener for three years. And at the end of those five years, you would have your Juris Doctorate as well as your bachelor's and associate's degree. So rather than seven years, it, you would earn it in five years. We do also offer a master's degree program in organizational leadership. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can certainly talk to our admissions department. Now at Central Penn College, we have what we call accelerated terms. So it's a little bit different than the fall and semester terms that you might be used to. Um, we have fall, winter, spring, and summer terms. They're each 11 weeks long with a two week break in between. And these accelerated terms mean that you can earn your certificate in as little as nine months. An associate's degree, which typically takes two years to earn, you could earn that in as little as 15 months plus an internship, getting you out into the workforce even sooner. The bachelor's degree that typically takes four years to earn, you could earn that in just three years plus your internship. And that internship is important because that is work experience that when you graduate, you already have it on your resume to share with potential employers. So it's a great way to really put that degree to work. Now, some of you might be interested in intercollegiate athletics and continuing that when you go to college. Um, we do play in the USCAA conference on a division two level. So that means that with our small school conference, we're able to schedule games across conferences and divisions to give our athletes a really unique schedule. We offer men's and women's basketball, men's and women's soccer, baseball, and brand new, we have women's volleyball. Now, if intercollegiate athletics is not really your speed, but you still wanna stay fit and active, you can get involved in our intramural and club sports. And we do offer a variety of those here on campus. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is esports. I know that that's something that's getting more popular these days. So you may be interested in being a part of our competitive esports team. You can see a photo here of our gaming center that's specifically used by the esports team. It's set up a little bit differently these days just for social distancing, but it has state of the art technology that allows our students to compete across the state of Pennsylvania as well as across the country. So they do things like Rocket League and other competitions, and it's a great opportunity to get involved here on campus. Now we're going to do a quick poll question. I'm hoping you guys are going to get involved with that before we move on to the next slide. Um, so we'll get that up here in just a minute. You'll be able to click right on your screen and give a quick answer here. So what are you most looking forward to when you start college? 
Are you looking forward to your own room and your independence? Joining new clubs, meeting new friends, campus activities, or studying? Give us a quick idea of those. Studying, I like seeing that joining new clubs. Yep, that's what we're talking about next. So perfect timing. Great, thank you so much. Good, we've got some good answers here. So perfect, it looks like we're even here between joining new clubs and studying. Yep, we're gonna talk about your own room and, and independence and all of that. So thank you guys so much for participating. I appreciate that. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next slide and talk about some of those clubs that you can be a part of. So one of the things to keep in mind when you get to campus is that you want to get involved. You definitely want to be studying. That's the reason that you're on campus, but you want to make sure that you're getting involved with um, different activities that you can maybe step out of your comfort zone and try something new. So we have over 20 student-run clubs and organizations here on campus, things like student government, if you're interested in the decision-making on campus, or Black Student Union, or maybe you want to be a part of the nightly news where they're doing podcasts and blogs and broadcasts. It's an opportunity to get involved and stretch those leadership skills. We also have a lot of activities on campus, both virtually and socially distant in-person events. So we've had different tournaments like uh, ping pong and cornhole and sand volleyball. We've had exercise classes, both outside and we've had things across Zoom with Zumba and different things like that. We've had Pilates across Zoom. Um, we've got an event coming up soon where they're showing a, a movie outside so that students can be on the quad and still be socially distant, but be able to watch a movie together. So there's all kinds of things for you to get involved with here on campus. Now, if theater is something that you're interested in, we do have the Capital Blue Cross Theater. And it's an opportunity for students to get involved in every aspect of putting on a theater production. So whether it's writing, acting, directing, producing, maybe being behind the scenes, doing sound and lighting. We've had to get creative over the, the virtual time here but we've had some great showcases where students have been able to share talents that maybe wouldn't have come across in a traditional production. So we've seen some amazing original works and some musical talents and things like that. So there's a way if you wanna continue with theater and expressing that creativity, we have a way for you to do that here at Central Penn. We make sure that our students are well supported here on campus. We wanna make sure that we have set you up to succeed and our student services department is excellent at that. We have an advising center that pairs you up with a student success coach from day one. They're the people that will work with you to set up your schedule each term, and they'll check in with you to make sure that you're on track for graduation. And we know that transitioning to college can be difficult sometimes, so we do have counseling that's available to our students free of charge. It's very easy to schedule and available for everyone. We have a learning center that is staffed by professional and peer tutors that can help you if you're, you need some answers for a class that you're working on, you're just, you need another perspective, or maybe you've got an essay that's due and you just want an extra set of eyes. We also have a variety of online resources and things that can help you study more efficiently. So our tutors are available to you and those resources are available to you at all times. We have an Office of Equity and Multicultural Affairs, and they work to bring programs on campus that make all students feel welcome and included. Now we're gonna talk about housing because we have a really unique setup here at Central Penn. We have what we call our super suites. And these super suites are seven students sharing a common area, but each of those seven students has their very own room. So you have the best of both worlds. You've got that sweet living, that community aspect. You're able to be kind of a family, but you also have your own space, your own room to go back to. You share a bathroom with just one other person. And the best part, part about our housing is that it's free to students their first year on campus. We do allow students to bring cars on campus from the very first day. You do need to have a parking permit, but that is free from our Department of Public Safety.
graduate success is something that's so important to look at and we measure ours a little bit differently than some colleges. 90.6% of our graduates were employed in their chosen field or continuing their education within one year of graduation. So what does that mean exactly? Well, for example, if you earned an associate's degree as a physical therapy assistant, then after graduation, you're employed as a physical therapy assistant. If you perhaps earned a bachelor's degree in information technology, maybe you're employed as a network engineer for a major company. So 90.6% of our graduates were employed in their chosen field or continuing their education within a year of graduation. So how do we help our graduates get there? We have an amazing career resource center that works with students from the day they arrive on campus. So if you need help polishing up your resume for a part-time job to help finance your education, or if you need some help with interview skills, or you need an outfit for an interview, we have a career closet that you can access. We are able to bring employers on campus for internship fairs and job fairs. We've conducted those in person and virtually. And that doesn't stop when you graduate. As an alumni, you can still access those things. And we do work with our alumni to support them after graduation. We have really tried to simplify the admissions process for you here at Central Penn. We have a free application that's available on our website at centralpenn.edu. It's very easy to apply and you can even do it on your phone if that's easier for you. We do require a 500 word essay on your involvement in school or community. We do require your high school transcript and you can get that very easily from your high school guidance office. We are SAT and ACT optional, so if you weren't able to take those tests in the spring or summer due to cancellation, that's not a problem. We do ask you to come on campus for an interview, but if you're not comfortable coming here to visit so we can show off our campus to you, we can schedule that virtually. We have our Central Penn College app that you can download now. Make sure you choose the option for prospective student so that you can get as much information as possible. And now I'd like to introduce Kelly Fox, our financial planning coordinator, who's going to talk to you about financial aid. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. All right, as Amy said, my name is Kelly and I will be your financial aid contact throughout this process. So what does financial aid consist of? Grants and scholarships, which is free money, and then loans, which is money that you do have to pay back. When you complete the FAFSA form, we will check your eligibility for the federal Pell Grant, the federal SEOG grant, and if you're Pennsylvania residents, the state FIA grant. We also have a plethora of scholarships that are on our website that I'll go over in a little bit. So what is required? For those of you looking at starting in either summer or fall of 2021, you'll want to complete the FAFSA that's out there currently, the 21-22 FAFSA form. And this will use you and your parents' 2019 taxes to answer all of the questions. Students also typically do use student loans to attend Central Penn. And again, you can complete that information at studentloans.gov. So scholarships are a very important part of any financial aid package and all of our scholarships are now open and they're on our website at centralpen.edu slash scholarships. We also match outside scholarships up to $1,000. So if you would receive a scholarship from a community member, church, employer, your parents' employer, or your high school, you would just let us know and then we would add our matching scholarship to it. And again, that's up to $1,000. I do like to touch base on the loan process since here at Central Penn, even if you qualify for the maximum amount of the free money determined by the federal government, typically students do need loans to help bring down the out of pocket expense. When you borrow loans, typically the government has two types, subsidize, which is when the government will pay the interest for you while you're in school, and unsubsidize when they will send you interest statements quarterly. You do not have to pay the interest while you're in school, but we highly recommend if you can that you do. So that when you graduate, your loan is just for the amount. The amounts are typically 
you're eligible for are 5,500 as a freshman. And if you're over the age of 24, then you would qualify for the independent amount, which would be 9,500. And as you progress through your degree, your amounts that you're eligible for will keep increasing. Textbooks. I always like to tell students here at Central Penn, textbooks are a very important part of what makes you successful. In most classes here, you'll need to buy your textbook separately. If you are in our business program taking business classes, the textbooks will be added to your tuition bill because they're electronic and through Blackboard. But all your humanities, your English classes, or any other major besides business, the books are actually on your own. So you'll get a tuition bill, and then you'll still have to purchase books. So we like to tell students, this is something that you do need to be prepared for. We estimate around 350 to 450 a term. We do use MBS. They also not only have new books, but they also have used books. Students can also use any vendor because we do provide the ISBN number for students. So you don't have to purchase through our website. Some families will decide to borrow additional funds to help with books, and if you would do this, you would receive a book voucher from the financial aid office, and then you could use your additional financial aid options to purchase your books. As Amy mentioned, we do have free housing. So what that means is students who attend Central Penn, they are eligible for the free housing. So if you would start in summer, you would get four terms of free housing. If you would start in fall, you'd get three terms. Winter, you would get two terms. And spring, you would get one term. You would simply have to sign a housing contract saying you understand you must maintain a 2.0. You cannot be placed on disciplinary probation. You do need to participate in mandatory housing programs, which does include the new student orientation. And you do need to be a full-time student and maintain continuous enrollment. So if you start on campus in summer, you'd need to stay on campus continuously to receive the free housing. You would still need to pay for the utilities and meal plan and the one-time 250 housing security deposit. As you progress through the financial aid process, I will be contacting you. So once you submit your FAFSA form and the government gives us access to it, I'll be the one reaching out, letting you know what your financial aid package is, or if you need additional forms, what those forms are, and I'll be the one emailing you those forms. But this is all my contact information for you or your parents if you have any questions concerning the financial aid. But this time I'm gonna open it up or turn it over to Lisa so we can go through some of the questions that you may have put in the chat. Hi, Lisa. 